Hey, this is Susan Velez from I am with SusanVelez.com and what I wanted to do today was actually walk you through step by step on how to install your Engagey Fireform on your WordPress site. So hopefully you've already got your uh, your Engagey Fireform ready to go and what I'm going to do is I'm logged into my Engagey Fire account and I'm going to come over here to this uh, I'm going to be installing this actual opt-in form and I'm going to be installing it on my WordPress security uh, product that I have online. So once you have it ready to go what you want to do is you want to come over here to integrations and we're going to be installing it on WordPress so what you will want to do is you want to download this this plugin so I'm going to right click on it and then I'm going to save the link as and then I've, you can see that I've already got it saved on my desktop so I'm not going to resave it but it is on my desktop so what I want to do is I'm just going to oh I'm I've already got it resaved. I've already got it saved, so I'm just going to say no, cancel that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm logged into my product site that I'm going to be putting this on. I'm coming down here to plugins and we're going to add a new plugin. So I'm going to click on add new and then what I want to do is upload a plugin. And then I'm going to come over here to browse and then I'm going to install the Engagey Fire plugin that I downloaded from my site, from the Engagey Fire site. Once you've got it uh, installed, then what you want to do is install it now. And then that's going to take you, it's going to, you're going to have to activate the plugin once you um, actually upload it and install it onto your site. So it should take me to an activation form. And here it is, it says activate the plugin. So we're going to activate it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come down here to to settings and we're going to go to Engagifier. Now, if you don't have your user ID, what you'll want to do is you'll want to grab your user ID uh, from Engagifier and then type it in right here where it says your user ID. And you can get that from where exactly where you downloaded the actual WordPress plugin. And then what you'll want to do is you want to save the changes and then Engagey Fire should be working on your site. So we're going to come over here to my actual WordPress site and I'm going to refresh this page and then we're going to see if the actual plug or uh, the opt-in form is working or not. So I'm going to scroll down and it should there we go. It pops up. As you can see, that's how easy it is to install Engagey Fire on WordPress. So hopefully this video tutorial shows you how easy it can be to get your your opt-in forms up and running if you have WordPress. I'll create another video that will walk you through step by step on how to install Engagey Fire on HTML websites. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll talk to you later. Have a great day.